from ending Cleveland's trophy drought to becoming the all-time leading scorer in the NBA, LeBron James has evolved into one of the greatest players in NBA history. His achievements have led to his name being brought up in the GOAT debate. Now, Michael Jordan might have something to say about that, but what does LeBron think about it? If there was ever someone who was destined for greatness, it was LeBron James. Turns out to James with a new shot clock. Oh, great no luck to Zizic who puts it home. Okay, How about that? Everybody, even myself included, thought that ball was going to... Even in his high school days, people were hyping him up to become a superstar in the NBA. And unlike so many other youngsters, he has managed to live up to all that hype. But what has been the secret to his success? If you ask me personally, the difference between LeBron and other players, maybe the Derrick Roses of this world, is LeBron's attitude. Rewind back to 2003, when LeBron made his NBA debut, and right from the start of his career... ...to finish, and he starts with with a strong rebound the numbers lebron james first shot is good and that's good to see because during the preseason he wasn't able to hit those kind of jumpers you could notice one thing very clearly it was his determination from day one he looked like someone who was on a mission to become the best player in the nba because deep inside his mind he knew he was better than everyone else and i think that's what has led him to do so well over such a long period of time when he was recently asked about his status as the nba's goat lebron said that with what he brings to the table as a basketball player no one can really match him in terms of impact he genuinely feels like he's the best player to have ever played the game of basketball. However, he also clarified that his claims have more to do with his own confidence than trying to win any particular debates. But does becoming the NBA's all-time leading scorer solidify his claims? Well, that record really hasn't made much difference to what LeBron thinks about his status in the game. Because even before he surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record, if you had asked LeBron who the greatest basketball player of all time was, his answer would have been the same. Lob under, trying to find LeBron, and he's there, living above the rim. <laughs> but he should be on the line, especially when plays like this. And that's exactly what he said when he was asked about that recently. He said that while it's his confidence in his own ability that he considers himself to be the best basketball player of all time, the scoring record doesn't necessarily make any difference to his status, or bring him to another level in terms of the GOAT debate. Now, that definitely sounds like a man who considered himself to be the GOAT even before he broke the scoring record. If you ask me personally, I would say that the record could be a game changer for his legacy because he now has a record to his name that might get him remembered for a long, long time. Not that people would have forgotten about him too easily, but he didn't exactly have any record until now that particularly stood out. Through his legs, Westbrook dives on it. Ball still loose, picked up by James. James goes to the basket. Back to Davis for the slam. Other than helping him stand out, the record also speaks volumes about his longevity. And that's one thing where Jordan can't compete with the four-time NBA MVP. Now, speaking of Michael Jordan, what does he really think about the GOAT debate? I wouldn't be wrong if I say that most people who follow the NBA consider Michael Jordan to be the greatest basketball player of all time. There are occasional shouts where people bring in LeBron or Kobe, but none of those two can really compete with Jordan. And they're not wrong. The way Michael Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls dominated the NBA throughout the 1990s, we really haven't seen that kind of dominance anywhere else in the world of sports. That was an era where the Chicago Bulls really were unplayable. Seven second disparity between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan, yes, and it We haven't seen that kind of dominance anywhere else in the world of sports. That was an era where the Chicago Bulls really were unplayable. Winning one NBA championship is such a hard task, but winning three championships in a row, that's insane. And Jordan's Bulls did it twice. To win consecutive NBA championships, you need more than a super team. Even the famous Golden State super team couldn't win consecutive titles. Having been asked about it on multiple occasions, Jordan has made it perfectly clear that no one else can come close to him. We all remember that famous video of the Chicago Bulls man, where he can be seen flaunting his six championships championship rings, and claiming that the debate shouldn't be about who the greatest player of all time is. Rather, we should be talking about who the greatest ever NBA team is. Then he goes on mentioning how the top six teams of all time are the Chicago Bulls from the six seasons in which they won the title. Is vintage Jordan superstar. I'll tell you, I hope nobody blinked watching that one, because this is 
Michael Jordan at his best. But forgot about comparing LeBron to Jordan. Jordan doesn't even consider LeBron to be better than Kobe. As I've mentioned before, there are some people who also bring Kobe into the GOAT conversation, along with LeBron and Michael Jordan. Now, I personally think that LeBron is most certainly ahead of Kobe in the GOAT debate, but Jordan certainly doesn't share those views. Having been asked who he would choose between Kobe and LeBron in an interview, Jordan said that while both of them have their unique attributes, he would definitely pick Kobe. The six-time NBA champion mentioned that in terms of overall impact, LeBron definitely has the edge on Kobe. But in terms of grit and winning championships, LeBron falls behind the late Lakers legend. And that's the main reason why most people put Jordan ahead of LeBron. Because LeBron has matched and even surpassed Jordan in terms of his impact in the NBA. players at LeBron. Down to five. Down Make to some, three. Make somebody else beat you. A three on the way. He got it! But what he can't beat him in is Jordan's trophy cabinet, which has six NBA championships, five NBA MVP awards, and six NBA Finals MVP awards. Other than that, Jordan has a six out of six record in the NBA Finals, whereas LeBron has only won four out of the ten finals he's ever been in. And realistically speaking, LeBron has a very thin chance of matching all of those accolades before he retires. Other than putting Kobe ahead of him, Jordan has also taken some direct shots at the King in the past. LeBron, as we all know, started his career with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Even though LeBron was doing quite well with the Cavs and even won the NBA MVP award in 2009, he was playing for a team that just wasn't good enough to win the NBA championship title. So in 2010, he made a move to the star-studded Miami Heat side, where he teamed up with superstars Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, who were also free agents at the time. The move from the three players got a lot of criticism from people in the NBA, who thought that this was unfair to the rest of the league. And Jordan also joined in with his two cents on the matter, saying that he would never pick up the phone and ask Magic Johnson or Larry Bird, let's get together and play on one team. And it later turned out to be too hard for the rest of the league to handle, as Miami won two NBA championships in the four years that LeBron was there. However, it seems that the two now share a relationship based on mutual respect at this point, as Jordan congratulated LeBron on his latest scoring record. After LeBron surpassed past Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's massive points tally, Jordan sent his congratulations on the King's incredible achievement and mentioned how all of this is a testament to the Lakers man's hard work and determination. He also praised LeBron's longevity and skills. And to be honest, it was one of the most wholesome moments. When LeBron scored the points that took him ahead of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, it was like the whole of the NBA had come together to celebrate King's remarkable achievement. Well, that was all about how Michael Jordan feels about LeBron's challenge for the GOAT status.